Good morning my love, did you have a good day? How was the hearing? What's going on Mark? You look sad to me. Good morning my love, I give all the glory to God for the day. My dear, I am very sad. I am devastated and broken. The hearing did not take place. It was postponed. The judge asked me to come back in six months, while Mr. Anatole continues his work without any worries. This is not possible. Why did the hearing not take place, and why was it postponed for up to six months? It's strange, there is something wrong. Did you see the judge? How did things go when you were? My dear, when I went to where the judge showed me, there was no one. I wondered if I was the one who was mistaken. I waited a little to see if anyone would come but no one came. I went to the judge's office to see him but he wasn't there. His secretary told me he would come at 11 or noon. I waited for him outside. When he arrived, he asked me if we had an appointment. When I told him about the hearing, he said, Mr. Mark, I forgot to send you a message. My apologies. The hearing is postponed because of my schedule. Come back in six months. When I told him that six months were too long, because Mr. Anatole is working on the ground, he asked me to find another judge, if that did not suit me. Really these people take the country like their father's property. They come to work, when they want and how they want and no one can speak. They are there taking bribes from left to right. They took an oath to do justice but they only do injustice. They are ready to hand over and sacrifice the poor, to trample on the rights of the oppressed, the destitute for envelopes. They are all corrupt. They are capable of anything for money. They forget that after the false judgments of men, there is the true judgment of God that is coming slowly but surely. God sees everything, he will not remain silent. Honey, I wonder if this CEO did not go to the judge to give him a bribe, so that he stops the procedure. My dear, I could not tell you. Only God knows. Darling, don't give up. We must not become discouraged, despair or give up. Let us be perseverant, God will act. It is not easy. It is very hard but we will keep trusting in God and continue praying. Let us not give up, may the Holy Spirit strengthen us, and arm us with faith, perseverance and hope. Darling, it's going to be okay. No matter how long it takes, I have faith that God will intervene. Courage to you darling. Thank you my sweet wife, thank you so much for your support. Now I will cook so that we can eat. Don't be sad, give me a smile. Hello Marlene, how are you? And your darling? Hello Rena, I'm doing very well. My darling is at work at the moment. And you, how are you? I'm doing very well too. You know, my dear, I'm very happy that you're here. I'm about to go out. You're going to come with me. Oh really, where are you going to get so excited like that? I saw some pretty boobies and some amazing jewelry in a store. Anadol gave me $20,000 to go buy that. Marlene, why don't you want to listen to the advice I'm giving you? With all the money Anadol is giving you, you don't even have a bank account, you have no savings. The day there is a problem, what will you do? How will you get out of it? In life, there are ups and downs. You have to be careful otherwise you will regret it bitterly. Especially since he is someone else's husband. You are still too young to have a man for you, but you don't want to listen to me. Rina, why are you so jealous, envious and mean? Why are you against my happiness? It's because you have never found a man like Anatole. You are an envious person. Marlene, I only want what's best for you. Rina, I never want to see you here again. You have to go. Whatever. You're just envious. Okay, I'm leaving. I will never come to your house again. Sorry for giving you advice. Goodbye Marlene. Hello General Manager. Hello Mr. Mark, are you well? I am very well DG. Please DG, the secretary told me that you wanted to see me. Yes, Mr. Mark, I asked to see you. It was just to tell you that as of today, you are no longer part of this company. You are no longer welcome here. Please Mr. DG, I did not understand what you mean. I am no longer welcome here, that is to say you want to send me to another agency of the company. 
Mr. Mark, I no longer need your services. You are fired, dismissed. Eugene, I am fired, why? What did I do? I am fired without any letter of explanation, warning. I don't understand anything. My contract isn't even over. Mr. Mark, get out of my office. I'm not going to wait for your contract to end before firing you. This is my company. I let in who I want when I want, I let out who I want when I want. I don't have to answer to anyone. Get out of my sight. Okay sir, thank you sir. Oh god why have you abandoned me? You stay far away, you don't come to my rescue despite all my prayers and cries of distress. Dad, during the day I call you but you don't answer me. At night I cry out without finding help. Yet you are the Almighty, the one who sits above the heavens and has everything under his control. All those who trusted in you and relied on you, you delivered them. You never betrayed or disappointed all those who truly trusted in you. I have become the shame and despised of men. All who see me mock me, humiliate me and treat me like a pest, an enemy. They ask me where is my God, the one in whom I have put all my trust, my God of whom I speak so much? They say that the Lord his God saves him, delivers him so that people can see, because he trusts in him. Do not depart from me, my God, my Father. For the distress is growing greater and greater and I have no one to save me. Lord, they have joined forces against me to destroy me. Do not keep silent, it is up to you to help me. Father, I praise you and I elevate you because you have no contempt for the sufferings of the wretched. You do not hide your face from him, but you listen to him when he cries to you because you are love and fidelity. Thank you dad in the name of Jesus I prayed amen. Deborah you know, Anatole gave me money for my business, but since I am not very good at business, I think I will find work in a company to train me. If I start now, I risk doing anything. Wow that's great, I give all the glory to God. You are right about what you just said. If you don't master the world of business, you will have problems. I support you on your idea. Thank you little sister, I will send you a hundred thousand dollars to your account so that you can do something with it. I will leave you, I will go take care of your nephews. On Sunday, we will go to the assembly with you. I am very happy. On Sunday, we will be together at the assembly to worship God. Big sister, thank you for the money. God bless you. We will meet the pastor too. Okay no problem little sister. Good evening my dear, are you well? How was your day? Good evening dear, I am very well and I had a nice day. I give glory to God. And you, how was your day? Did everything go well at work? My day was great. Everything went well at work. I give all my gratitude to God. Honey, you have completed the project you have been working on for a month. Yes, honey, I finished it a few days ago. Congratulations, my love. What does the girl say about this? What did you do for work today? I didn't work today. I spent the whole day walking around, wondering, daydreaming. But honey, what are you talking about? You make too many jokes. You don't like it when I make jokes. I like it when you make jokes. Anna, my dear, I don't understand my life anymore. I was fired from the company this morning. This is not possible. Honey, why? What did you do? Honey, I asked the guy. He told me that the company belongs to him. He hires when he wants and fires when he wants. Oh really? He signs contracts and terminates them when and how he wants. God bless him. Honey, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this. God will not abandon us. The situation is becoming more and more difficult and delicate, but we will get through it. Darling, we do not understand anything, but God knows everything. Let us keep our trust in him. He will get us out of all these difficulties. Misfortune often strikes the righteous, but the Eternal always delivers from it. God doesn't just deliver sometimes, but always. He will. My darling, I don't know what I would do if you weren't by my side. Thank you my crown, I trust in God but I admit that it is not easy at all. A few weeks ago, I saw CEO Anatole come to my DG. 
it seems that he is his friend. I don't know if he is the one who is the source of this referral, but I give glory to God and put everything in his hands. Honey, we are going to pray to thank the Lord for everything. My dear, you can pray please because I am not inspired. Okay let us pray, Eternal God Almighty, our Dad, as obedient children, we want to thank you for all the difficulties we are going through at the moment. Dad, it is not easy at all but we trust in you and we expect you alone. As you promised, you will deliver us from all these distresses, because you're good and faithful. Thank you Dad for your love. In the name of Jesus we prayed. Amen. My dear Anatole, how is the work going in relation to your paradise on earth? I hope the work is progressing wonderfully. My dear Claude, I am very happy. Everything is going wonderfully. Tell me, have you had any news of poor Mark? Since I sent him away, I have had no more news of him. Let him summon me again if he has the chance. Nonsense. A poor loser like that. Darling. I'm not going to wait to find a job according to my degrees before working. Look how pale and tired you are. You can't carry the burden of the family alone. It was already difficult with two people. On your own, it's more complicated and terrible. You have to do work left and right to fill the hole. You can't rest anymore. It makes me so sad when I see you. It's gonna be okay, honey. Stop worrying. By the grace of God, we're gonna get through this. Today I went to look for a job. I found something. I'll go carry luggage and unload. I'm going to make $15 an hour. I'm going to do this until a door opens. It's not easy but God will help me. It's going to be okay. I trust him. I start tomorrow morning. Honey, are you sure you can do it? Yes, my dear. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, I get it. But promise me that you will be very careful and take care of yourself. I promise you, my dear. Good evening, boss. Good evening, Mr. Mark. Please boss, I'm done. I'm going to leave. How many days did you work? I worked five days due to eight hours per day. Okay that's it, that's $600. Take the money on Monday. Thanks a lot boss. See you Monday. Honey, I got paid today. Oh well, I give glory to God. How's work? How are you feeling? It's not too tiring. My dear, it's very tiring, but there's nothing you can do about it. I have to do it. We have no way out right now. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Anna, my dear, God is with us. Okay, I understand. Good morning, Mr. Judge. Hello, Mr. Mark. What can I do for you? Please, Judge, you told me to come back in six months for the hearing procedure that was postponed. What is that for? Oh yes, I remember. It's about that famous piece of land in the Bougainvillea neighborhood. Tell me, Mr. Mark. Are you really sure that this piece of land belongs to you? Judge, what does that mean? Are you kidding me? What is this question you're asking me? Are you serious or are you playing a game? You surprise me. I provided you with all the documents for the land. If you are not convinced that the land belongs to me, why did you take $30,000 from me? Why did you call a hearing? Oh, you are asking me questions now. In any case, I cannot handle your case now. I'm traveling tomorrow. I don't have time yet. Come back in six months with $30,000, because the $30,000 you paid is no longer valid for the next six months. Goodbye Mr. Mark. Your Honor, you think you are more cunning and smarter. You are playing a very dangerous game. If you don't want to deal with my case anymore, tell me and give me my documents and my money. Oh, you are asking me questions now. In any case, I cannot handle your case now. I'm traveling tomorrow. I don't have time yet. Come back in six months with $30,000, because the $30,000 you paid is no longer valid for the next six months. Goodbye Mr. Mark. Your Honor, you think you are more cunning and smarter. You are playing a very dangerous game. 
If you don't want to deal with my case anymore, tell me and give me my documents and my money. What money are you talking about? The $30,000. That's very old. If you call him, he won't be able to answer you anymore. What kind of person are you? You have no dignity. Mr. Mark, get out of my office or I'll call security. You're just a fake guy, a crook. Goodbye, sir. Hello, Anatole. How are you? Hello, Gina. I'm fine, thank you. What's the matter? Get out of my way, ma'am. I am not here for you. Excuse me, Anatole. I would like to tell you something. Tell me, do you have a problem with someone regarding a piece of land in the Bougainvilliers district? Why are you asking me this question? What is your problem? In any case, be very careful because you are not fighting against this gentleman, but against God and know that whoever fights against God always falls. Some time ago, I couldn't sleep well anymore. My sleep is restless and I have bad dreams. I suffer a lot in my sleep. Every time I see a big house collapsing with its entire foundation. Honey, abandon the project you have and give up the land or you will have very serious problems. You talk about your life, you are jealous, whatever, you are just a poor wretch. These are hallucinations you have. No one can touch me, nothing can happen to me. Anatole today, me and my children, we have found peace and rest. We have a joy that no one or nothing can take away from us. Thank you Anatole for all you have done and continue to do. It has allowed me to find true love and true happiness which is Jesus. God is great, I advise you to taste him to see how good he is. What? You also went to worship the God of the poor and the destitute. It is not possible, I understand why you tell me all this nonsense and foolishness. You and your children have gone to make an alliance with my enemies to harm and destroy me. I did not know that I had enemies in my house. You are too wicked. I don't want to see you at my house anymore. You pick up your bags and your children and disappear. You'll hear from me in a few days. I'll send you the divorce papers. I'll give you a month at most to get out of my house. Look at these things. Anything. I understood Anatole. Don't worry, I will leave with my children. We are not things, but precious jewels to God. I pray that God has mercy on you. Look at that one, poor woman. I don't need your God at all. It's you who needs his pity. Whatever. I'll come here in a month. If I see you and your children, you'll know what I'm made of. Look at me, starving like that. Goodbye Gina. I've waited a long time for this release. And finally, I have it. Today, I'm going to pop some champagne. Goodbye Anatole. You will never see me and my children again. I wish you a very good marriage with Marlene, and may God deliver you from your pride, your arrogance and your wickedness. Come on, get out of my way. Hello Mr. Judge. Hello Mr. Mark. You're here again. You are not tired. What are you looking for? Did you bring the money? What money are you talking about, Judge? I gave you $30,000 a year ago. You haven't even done the work you took the money for and you're still asking me for money. Why do you say, you here again? Why do you ask me if I'm not tired? If I understand correctly, the appointments you give me every six months, you do it on purpose to tire me out and make me give up. It's a plan you have devised to discourage me. I'm not going to give up until I take back what is mine, what is rightfully mine. What is rightfully yours? You are nothing but a liar, a social climber, a thief. How can you dare to steal the turf of a CEO of this great renown and expect to win? Truly I congratulate Mr. Anato. He has a very good heart. If it were me, I would send you to prison so that you could spend the rest of your life there. I met Mr. Anato. He showed me all the papers that prove that he is the real owner of the land. I checked everything and I also made inquiries. These papers are legal. I advise you to give up or you will go to prison for life. Your case is closed. I can't work on a case like this anymore. Your Honor, this is not possible. You're lying in broad daylight like that. Your Honor, tell me with your hand on your conscience that it is Mr. Anatole who has the real papers for the land and that this land truly belongs to him. Yes, yes, the real owner is Mr. Anatole. Yes, yes, it is him. I think it's him. Look how ridiculous you are. You embarrass me. You make me feel sick. I want to throw up. You have no dignity, 
No morality. You stoop so much lower than you can imagine. You have no personality left. You are just a walking wreck. You don't deserve any consideration, any respect. Look at yourself. You have no conscience anymore. Your conscience is dead. You are a living dead. You have become an enemy of justice. You support and promote injustice, wickedness for how many dollars do you remember the day you took the oath? What did you say? I feel sorry for you, judge. You have come all this long way of education, suffering, deprivation just for all this bullshit, this nonsense. It is truly pitiful. You are a disgrace to this country, to your family, to your wife and children. There are so many of you who lead this life of debauchery and curses. Many judges, lawyers, bailiffs, notaries and others. Today in all the institutions of the country, in all societies, you have your friends. Because you are alike, you gather to drink champagne, high end alcoholic beverages, to do ignoble things, unnatural things, to enjoy your spoils, your plunder and you tell each other nonsense. You no longer have a heart. You have stones instead of hearts. That is why you are insensitive, indifferent to the suffering of your neighbor. You feed on the pain of the poor. You drink from the suffering of the needy. You feel joy, pleasure when you oppress. You are sadists. You think it's money you're hoarding in your accounts. No, think again. It's curses from generation to generation. These are misfortunes, these are cries, tears, complaints from all those you oppress and destroy. These are injustices that you amass in your bank accounts. Everything you amass cries out against you, justice, justice, justice. My $30,000 cries out for justice. God will do me justice. God will do justice to all the oppressed, to all those who cry out to him. What does that mean? You came to swear to me. Look at that guy, there's something wrong with you. Look at a poor guy like that. You're just a thief. God will do you justice. And why did you come here? When will God do you justice? I've listened to this song so much that it's no longer relevant. This tape is old. God won't do anything. Your honor, God loves the sinner. He does not desire his death, but that he live and change. God's love for the sinner is not synonymous with weakness or incapacity. You were paid to drop my case. I leave it to God's justice. Mr. Mark, I've heard enough. Get out of my office. I never want to see you again. I will file a complaint against you. You accuse me of corruption. I await your summons. You are all corrupted. You are all corrupted. Eternal God Almighty, how long will the wicked triumph? How long will the wicked have disappointed him? They speak short, they speak arrogantly. All that do evil boast. They have crushed your children, O Lord. They have oppressed your inheritance. They trample on the rights of the widow, the orphan and the poor. And they say God does not see. God does not act. He is weak and incapable. Dad, I know that you are all powerful and nothing is impossible for you. You are the only God, you are my father. Dad, deliver me from the hand of the wicked, from the oppressor, from the unjust man, for you are my only hope, my fortress and my support. Dad, all my trust is in you. Do me justice and snatch from their hand what is mine. Thank you dad for listening to my prayers and answering me in Jesus name. Amen. My darling, you told me that after dinner, you will tell me what happened at the judges today. Yes, my dear, I really don't know where to begin and where to end. The judge asked me this morning if I wasn't tired of coming to his house. My dear, the judge called me a thief. He said he met the CEO and the papers he presented to him are legal and I am the one who is a thief. He said the CEO has a good heart. If it was him, he will send me to prison for the rest of my life. I told him the four truths. He said he never wants to see me again. He said he will not handle the case anymore. The CEO paid him to drop the case. You know, my dear, deep down, I have an assurance. God will bring us justice. No one can bribe God. No one can pay him to drop our case, because he is just unfaithful. Honey, I am overwhelmed by the judge's behavior. It is truly deplorable and pitiful. They are ready to do anything for money. They have no conscience, no dignity. May God help them. Darling, let us wait on God. Only God can help us.
Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for following the third part. Part 4 of this series is coming. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share in order to bless others. Be richly blessed.